Welcome back YouTube, I'm MTG Joe and we're continuing with our video series on the competitive four color gates list uh, in ranked best of three. We're currently playing on platinum rank uh, between level three and two, just kind of bouncing back and forth. So if you want to see the deck tech in its full detail, uh, check out the Is It Phoenix video. It's in the same playlist, uh, Constructive Ranked, uh, on the YouTube channel. I'll link it in the comments below. Um, but at high level, it's pretty much your traditional uh, four color gates list. You're winning with Krasis, Gatebreaker Ram, uh, Gate Colossus, gaining a bunch of life with Archway Angel. We're playing six sweepers, two Clarions in the main. And then uh, for our flex spots, we have a Domri to ramp out our creatures and to give them haste. Uh, Vivian, just really useful, destroys a bunch of stuff and gets his creatures. And then one Banefire is a mana sink. Cyborg is pretty much anti-control, some more removal spells versus like mono blue, cinder vines against like control, rhythm against counter based decks, and then uh, Vivian uh, in the side. So like I said, if you want to see the more detailed version, I go through card by card for Is a Phoenix, uh, but we'll just take it for some more ranked matches. Uh, so in the other videos, we've already played against Gruel, Mono Blue, and Is a Phoenix. So hopefully getting a good variety, and so you can see up all the matchups. So we'll get started. Uh, as we are waiting for our opponent, if you haven't done so already, uh, please make sure to subscribe. It costs you absolutely nothing. It's a great way to support the channel. Uh, we're closing in on 100 subs. Once we hit that, we will be doing another giveaway. Uh, we did a giveaway at 50 subs for two promo light up the stage, the FNM promos. Uh, so we had a lucky winner there, and then uh, all our subs will be automatically entered in the draw for the next one once we hit 100 subs. So we'll play first. We're missing a blue source. We have... This hand is really good if we had a blue source, but... I think we mulligan. Much worse. Much, much worse. Mulligan. We'll keep this one. Domri's interesting here. I actually don't mind it. Like, we're punished if this is a more aggressive list, especially because we don't have white source right now. Um, so, typically in all my matches, I lead on a red source with a duel. Um, I'm playing one breeding pool, two force as my untapped lands. So if we ever need to play something on two, that's usually how I prefer to sequence my draws. So this looks like Gruel again, potentially. Um, so here we need to make a, the line if we want to drop an early ram and start pressuring our opponent. Or if we want to use Domri for value. I think we go ram in this case. Mainly because we can't protect Domri. So they have the Lava Coil there. So that line was a little worse. Okay, so we'll play the Guild Gate here. Um, so they are still one mana off from adapting. So we can let them play something out and then Clarion. So hopefully they go for haste here. So opponent dodges it there. Um, they did miss a land drop, which is m something to be mindful of. Uh, so that takes it to six. So they could attack Domri. And then this is the one knock about Domri. She doesn't do really anything if you don't have a, a spell to play. So usually a lot of times a turn you play her, she just doesn't do anything. It's fine. Opponent can attack into Domri. So this is a good way to gain a lot of life. But I think we actually Krasis here. So we can X4 here and then make it a 5 power. 
Or, yeah, X4. And now we can block pretty profitably. Or they have Vivian, and that makes that plan go nowhere. No one said restoration was painless. Opponent will kill Domri here. I'll be back after our mission wounds. You'll see. So punish pretty hard there. Uh, here. Kind of want to find a land for the Archway Angel. But the ram will give us pressure. We can't adapt, like they'll adapt next turn. Then they have a 3 5. Ah, let's just play out the ram. Pass turn. Angel right now will gain us. 10 life if we hit a land like a, another guild gate also just have the option okay so this is more of a teamer variant with Sagana I might just bane fire the Vivian So opponent looks to probably want to adapt here. Uh, so at this point, let's growth spiral. If we get another land, it could be relevant. Um, we'll take the damage. This signifies like they have a Colossus collision or something like that. Okay, so Carnage Tyrant. So gates ablaze here. One, two, three, four, five. So gates ablaze only does five damage, which isn't enough. So we need another land. So they can attack with carnage tyrant next turn. So let's actually go to combat first. Let's see what they do here if they want to trade. Ah, most wounds can heal. So this way we can wipe their board. Do we even want to wipe their board this turn? Zagana will come down. Yeah, you know let's do this. It seems a little unorthodox, but we I want to keep them off that mana. And then just Bane Fire X2. This might suggest to them we don't have a Gates Ablaze. So I wanted to play Zagana out because I just didn't want them to be able to adapt that afterwards. Probably wrong though. Probably should just gates have blazed. So they attack in here. Wipe their board, and now we're getting one, two, three, four, five, six. So we'll gain 12 life. Opponent does have a lot more cards in hand. And Hellkite's really scary. Okay, so Angel into Angels actually. A nice set of draws. A lava coil that takes a double block off the table. Crisis. Give me a crisis. Or 
or that works. Wipe their board, and then uh, we'll play another Archway Angel. Probably signifies Hydroid Crisis. Yeah. So we're just playing out lands here, so we gain the life. Brings us back up to 38. Helps with the racing. No blocks. They play the growth chamber into Rhythm of the Wilds. So obviously another sweeper here would be good. Actually, guild summit's pretty nice. So I'm gonna attack. And then we're just gonna draw five cards off this. It's actually a really good draw. And another Gates of Blaze is good. Uh, so here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it can kill the Colossus. But I think like this, we kind of lure them into playing some more stuff out. We also have Root to draw some more cards afterwards. So we can blaze, put this on top of our library after. Or blaze root, put this on top of our library, try to draw it if we stack our triggers right. I think that should work. Opponent's thinking. So they have the Vivian. Let's see what they blow up here. They have a couple options. Actually, pretty much everything on the board can be. Oh, so they actually opt to plus her. So let's see if they bring out the other. Ah, oh, Phoenix is another option. Make that larger. Let's see if they attack in at all. So they actually hold back. Let's see if they block with the Phoenix here. That is perfect. Now we can Gates Ablaze. Wipe the board. We can root. Uh, we have enough white, so we'll probably just get another is it and then another gruel. Um, I think the Colossus is probably our best bet. Do we want that? Sure. Because now we can get the Colossus, play the Colossus, and then hold Growth Spiral to the end of the turn. That's fine. We're just going to get it back with the Growth Spiral. So how many sweepers have we used? Three Gates of Blaze and a Clarion. So we're actually getting close to running out of stuff. Opponent's at 30 cards, we're at 29. Let's see if it gives him haste. It's a pretty good match. 
Vivian's perfect there. Um, yeah, I'm cool with both threats. So we play Vivian here. Destroy the Krasis. Play out a ram. And then we'll draw two cards. Ah, uh, we missed tap there, so we're only drawing one. Play out the plaza, gain some life. So we're threatening lethal. Opponent needs to put some blockers down. We have to be somewhat mindful of the amount of cards left in our deck. Every line draws us two, which is great, but at the same time, we're slowly dwindling down. Okay, so using Vivian, I'm actually fine with that. Takes her off the board. Opponent uses Hellkite. So they take down Vivian. Uh, not again. Still think we can race, which is good. So they have another Vivian. Every fight makes me stronger. <laughs> Get that out of here. We're fine with that. Um, so here, let's just attack our opponent. Just want to try to get, just kill him. So here, just blue, blue. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So at that point, we were just going to draw five or six cards, play a land. All right, so against this deck, what do we want? Showing a number of flyers, so canopies seem good. Vivian seems good. Domery seems lackluster. Banefire seems lackluster. Clarions are probably too slow. Probably want more targeted removal. In terms of lava coils. Probably drop the roots themselves too. Play some rhythms. Actually, I feel like we're tap out too much. Like we're not really gonna hold up counter spells in this matchup. So it's really just, do we want Rhythm of the Wilds to play a similar game as our opponent? Let's try this one. I think the Clarions really just hit the uh, Incubation Druids and like an early Growth Chamber Guardian, but everything in this deck is for toughness, really. And the opponent seeing Clarion is going to be mindful to make them the four toughness. Uh... Yeah, we'll keep. Lava Coil, Gates of Blaze, Rhythm, all useful. Needs to hit a blue source. If we can hit that next turn, it'd be great. But we have a Lava Coil for an early play. Uh, we'll just play out Selesnia here. Gruel next turn, so we could get it to Blaze, whatever the threat they have on turn three. Is. All right, so let's see what they do here. Perfect. So that gets us to Lava Coil this. They get no damage in. And next turn we can drop down a Rhythm. So, fortunately we didn't hit a land there. I 
they drop like uh, the best would be land at the Drayan. Nullhide Ferox. That is quite unfortunate. Um here I'm just gonna take them off mana. We're gonna take six. It's not what we really want to be lava coiling, but they missed land drops. Also hurts us for Phoenix, but land. Yeah, now we got punished. Okay, so. Well, crushing canopies when they attack saves us four points of damage. And then we can hydrate crisis. Worst case to bridge. Let's see what our opponent plays. So this gets us. Not the best. Just make it as big as possible. So we block here. Take eight. They're one mana short of adapting. No, they give it haste. Now we're dead. So we're trying to get to that removal. So here, I still think we're okay with this version. Like the Clarions don't do much. It might be worth in our sideboard to just have like a Cleansing Nova, just as a catch-all. That'll probably be something we look at after this one. So we'll play first here. Sand is great. Lead on the guild gate. And having double sweepers is good here. Usually after the first one, people will overcommit. Okay. Let's just play that out. If they don't play another land... Okay, so they do. Uh, here, I'm just going to Rhythm of the Wilds. If they play something with four toughness... Yeah. So if they haste it here, they, sh we, they don't. So we'll just Lava Coil. Or we play the Guild Summit and draw a card. Take four damage. That does let them Zagana draw cards. So let's just play it this way for now. We are getting closer to start hasting out Colossus, which I like. And that's a quick way to, for us to close out the game. Okay, so they play another elf into a spellbreaker. That's perfect. So now this is four. So we'll just gates ablaze. Takes them off a lot of mana as well. And then next turn, I'm just going to probably haste out Colossus. They were on mono spellbreaker. So we're a lot bigger here. If they want to chump, they can, but that's not how they win the game. And 
we can just gate to Blaze if whatever their follow up play is. So they're shocking. They play Vivian. They do have a couple interesting lines. They can get rid of the Colossus. So here we need to decide. Probably just going to. Play out the basic forest, so we get the most amount of draw. Play out the guild summit draw for. So opponent does get some draw to this, but they just hit a land, which is good for us. Probably will Gates of Blaze next turn. So entering full control mode. Why won't it allow us to swap these? Is it Alt Control? Ah, that's not what I want to do. All right. Wanted to switch the order on those. So here I'm just going to gate to blaze. And then play out a second summit. And then draw a card. So next turn we have the Colossus with haste, that'll cost two mana. We can crush in Canopy if they have any of the flyers. We're drawing two cards off playing the land, so if we draw into like another Colossus or something else no is good. Like I do. So Vivian's digging. So they get a Zagana that can block. Line of Werewolf's fine because it can't actually block Gate Colossus. Okay, so here. Play out the Gruel Guild Gate, draw two. Just lands isn't that good. Um, so here. Here I think we just go after Vivian still. Cuts off their card draw. And if they wanted to block, they'd have to use Zagana. We do have an answer against a flyer, but we've kind of flooded out. Trying this many cards and just getting all lands is a little awkward. They can hit us for nine. So they'll play the Colossus while crushing Canopy it on our end step. It's fine. So depending on what we draw, it's probably more land. So they could hit us for nine, but if they get a haster out, then we're in trouble. I think we just play it safe this turn, draw a couple cards. Okay, so the second ram. Now we just kill him. 9, 17. And that's where rhythm just comes into play. And we can take down our opponent pretty easy. 
So back up to Platinum 2. And actually a pretty good win rate with this deck. I think we've only lost against Mono Blue in videos so far. We have Phoenix, twice on Gruel. We're running for one more. Playing Captain Ninjo. A Joe on Joe battle. Uh, sure. Don't have any sweepers, don't have red, but we can get uh, mono blue. So we hit red, we're in a pretty good spot. Okay, so Phoenix is a better deck to be playing against. Just play out Azorius Guildgate here. I'm gonna drop the Ram next turn. Unless we have a red source. Play out the ram. This at least allows us to block and we can start putting pressure on our opponent. They have the stylized Electromancer. They hit us for three. So we'll save the Plaza Harmony for now. Just this gets us more damage and puts an opponent on a four turn clock. Next turn we can play Plaza Harmony, basically fog the damage from the Arc Light. And then play a Gate Colossus. Really want a red source here. If we hit even a tapped red source with Plaza Harmony, we can wipe the board, gain lifelink. Second Ram's not bad. But I think here we just gain the life. See if the opponent blocks. Just play a Gate Colossus. They opt. Crackling Drake. Pretty small. Actually can't block Colossus right now. Ay ay ay. So Guild Summit. So here, I think we just draw cards. Wow, it is pretty awkward. Just not hitting red in all this. Um, let's force them to block. So here I'm going to kill the Crackling Drake and one Phoenix. Yeah, we'll do it like this. This makes it less likely they can get the Phoenix. We would have killed the Crackling Drake because it poses the most potential of damage. But that was pretty much a board wipe on our side. They have another Electromancer. So we can draw a red source, we win. If not, we just play out a couple rams. They hit us for seven here. So they actually can't. Okay, so we might be able to get them to... Because if they attack him with Crackling Drake, Electromancer can't block the Colossus because of its ability. Oh, they do get the Phoenix back. So they can hit us with the... Oh, they exact sees us. 
Oh, good game by the opponent. Very awkward with our mana base. We have a lot of good cards here. Bring in the lava coils, the canopies, cinder vines, and Vivian. Get rid of Domri. Uh, probably get rid of the roots. Clarion's not bad. Get rid of Banefire. What do we want to shave? Shave one Guild Summit. Shave one Clarion, perhaps? Shave one Angel. Like, it would block the Phoenixes, and it gains us some life, but I think just having removal for them would be more effective. We'll play first. Yeah, this is fine. We have the Growth Spiral. Should help us find the next land. Uh, like I said, we... In order to play that, we have three come into play untapped green sources. Don't hit that, so... So, so they have the blood crypts. So here we need to decide if we want a lava coil or growth spiral. I think we lava coil. Take them off the mana. This slows them down more as we miss our lands. So here, let's just guild summit, or grow spiral, sorry. Okay, so, handful of three drops. They have the phoenix, so we're gonna get punished here. So next turn we can guild summit. And they have Ral. Yeah, we fell too far behind in this game. Hope we get something good. So, just pay. We'll get to draw a card. And then we can Clarion next turn, but Ral's gonna thread in the ultimate. Just everything in our hand costs three. So I think we do need to play out. Now they're hitting us for six this turn. Okay, so that's actually pretty good for us. So let's see what we draw. Still need to just wipe them that way. Forces them to play the most amount of spells. Or I need to find something to deal with this Ral. Goes to eight next turn. And we don't have haste. <laughs> Time to choose. Yeah, whenever we cast an instant or sorcery, they got us dead. Yep, we'll just concede that. That was rough. So much for getting to Platinum too. We fall right back down. So let me know what you think in the video comments below. I uh, hope you enjoy it. And uh, we'll come back with a couple more deck series like this. Trying to take some more Tier 2 decks through the gauntlet of Ranked. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And have a great one.